the boys lay down. Just like get fall off the table. Come here. Ready? Five minutes. Come here. Now. Please. Come on. Please. Ready. He hates being in the corner. So weird. Come here. Ready, boy. Boy. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. You're a good boy. Lay down. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Boy's such a baby. <laughs> Such a good boy. Can you lay down, please? Can you lay here? Lay down. Come on. Ready? Lay here. Lay down. Lay down, please. You are so uncomfortable. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. Um, I can see what you're doing. You're exactly covering this because you know what's going on. Okay, this is gonna have to do, I guess. So last night, I became so annoyed. So last night, I had nightmares that this doggo's paw was bleeding and all cut. And I don't know why, and these nightmares are so weird. Um, so every night for the last, like, month, I've been waking up in the middle of the night just, like, cold sweat. You know what I mean? And last night, I was, like, the first time that I had an actual nightmare that I remember that, like, made me sweat awake. You know what I mean? Like, I was freaking out, running, panicking, crying in my dream. And I woke up like hyperventilating and stuff like that. Um, and it was because of his paw. And in his, in my dream or in my nightmare, he had like cut up paws, like if he had gone through like barbed wire or something. So that really sucked, and it freaked me the fuck out. I hate waking up that way. It's so annoying. Um, yeah. But then I wake up, and he's right there, and he's totally fine. So that was nice. But yeah, I never have nightmares really until. I have a lot of shit going on in my life, and there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and, like, things that are affecting my day-to-day -day life, and then nightmares just ensue because of this, I think. It's very unfortunate. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of waking up in a cold sweat. However, today is Saturday, so that's great news. I'm doing what I do best this today. I'm going downtown to the protest and rally for freedom. And then I'm going to a birthday party tonight. And hilariously, the other day, I found a note on my car. And it was like, I know what you did three weeks ago. I'm gonna, or I'll be seeing you or something creepy, crazy like that. And I was like, what is going on? And I freaked out. And then we have like a next door app that has like all of our neighbors. We posted this note in that next door app and we're like yo if someone left this note like text me i don't know what i did but like we have nothing to hide so please get over yourself this is not scooby-doo you don't need to be leaving little clues or whatever the fuck and the letter was so funny it was like i know what you did three weeks ago in large like kid writing in like a glittery pen on a piece of paper so i'm in my no okay i'm gonna just keep talking glittery pen and it's like i know what you did three weeks ago and then in like a little corner it's like you fucked up, I'll be seeing you or something. And it's like they forgot that they were going to say that or something when they write in the letter. And it was like chicken scratch writing, so, um. So when we posted it on that next door app, a lot of people were like, it's probably just a kid pranking or a scam or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool, that's fine, whatever. But then our next door neighbor saw the note, because we also put it like on the pool outside of our house, with a little note that I had said like text me what the fuck are you talking about and then um <clears throat> and then our neighbor next door was like yo the cops were at his neighbor's house like another one down again yesterday morning and this has happened like 25 times where the cops just come because this crazy lady is just absolutely nuts and she has like a husband and a son by the looks of it that take care of her like her handlers and it seems like they're not doing a very good job so apparently the fucking police came again yesterday one time months ago actually the SWAT team was like blocking my car in and like everyone everyone's car in on the block because 
it was like 10 uh black blacked out like suv trucks and then there was a, a swat van and some cop cars for this lake so anyways my neighbor said that he asked her about the note like specifically when she was like outside with all the cops and shit like that and she's like yeah i did they assaulted me and like talking shit about us and then we remembered oh my god i'm t telling way too much about this story but then we remembered a few weeks ago this psychopath lady i've never seen her before this like it was literally like three weeks ago um we saw her uh she was like sitting on a stool outside of our house when we were going out one night it was like three saturdays ago or four saturdays ago now and she was just like sitting in her house coat outside our hot tub on a little stool out there and she was like can i borrow your phone and we're like no what the fuck are you doing we know you live like two houses down like you have a phone inside or you have your handler who has a phone inside <laughs> pardon me that red bull's killing me so long story short this lady like admitted that she's the one that wrote the note so i'm no longer freaking out about that it's not a kid or anything and it's not a scam it's just a crazy ass lady so that's this i think the the last couple days before i learned that little fact tidbit i was worried and that's why i was having like cold sweat nightmare you know what i mean but now i know and i have closure so i'm not freaking out anymore good good this doggo keeps putting his paw here as if he wants something so i guess i'm gonna go outside let's see if i can do this do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna go for a walk do you wanna go for a walk do you do you wanna go for a walk i guess i'm gonna go for a walk Happy Saturday, y'all.